for you. Today you join me on uh, air and cold navigation and uh, today what we're going to do is a little jigging. Uh, we've got a little uh, 7 foot um, drop shot rod and a little sort of 1000 reel. Uh, a little bit of uh, a 4 pound line. Normally I'd use braid uh, but I haven't uh, I haven't filled any braid with this because when I got it they were already loaded. I will get to doing it at some point but braid's better because when you're twitching it back you've got a bit more feel in the line obviously but using mono it's got um, stretching it so obviously you lose a little bit there we'll go on to the tackle in a bit we're just gonna have a few goes we've only just got here um, I've seen a little few um, fish topping and uh, we'll get cast out and see if we can catch some and then we'll, uh, we'll have a little chat about the gear so importantly when you, you cast out you want, you want to let it sink down the way, the way I, I like to do it is let it sink down and then give it a little, little twitch and I let it sink again. Another little twitch and I let it sink again. And I work it back like that. I don't just reel it in. I like to let the jig sit down in the water. Now today we've got a, a sort of a drop shotted element uh, where we've got a weighted hook. And uh, we've put that into a, a gelid uh, little sort of minnow sized fish. And, that, and that's what we're going to work with today. And that weight on, on the hook allows us to cast out. And obviously, we can adapt the, uh, the fish colour uh, as we go. We can change that, uh, which we'll go into when I show you what's in, in the tackle box. Like I say, let, 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 let's, let's sink down for a little bit. The good thing about what we did is that we can work the water. So, start off in front of us here, just before we get to the bridge, and then we'll work his way underneath that bridge. behind you so it's an easy chuck as well. So we're going to have a, uh, a quick look through the tackle uh, that we've got with us. So obviously as you can see I've got um, quite a, a decent selection. I'll bring it up to the, up to the camera and let it, let it focus in. So you can see quite a lot of you. What we're going to use is sort of this style of uh, rubber fish today. And that, I'll show you how we're going to uh, attach that on. But you can see you've got various different types. Um, got little rattles. Uh, got little sort of spoons there. Uh, with feathers on, sorry, and then there's just normal silver spoons there as well. Um, you know, various different types. And what I did with this, I got a, a decent, um, just went on eBay basically and searched for a um, job shot and job lot. 
and this guy is sort of 22 quid. It came with a few other goodies as well. But to a person that's never fished it and to pick this all independently, you know, you're looking at three or four quid a pack for maybe four of these fish. So really good deal. And there's loads of them about that you can get as well. So a little bit about uh, traveling light. I always uh, carry a little snap net. Uh, again, not expensive, folds over. You can have it in my bag, can clip it onto your waist if, you, if you're walking around. Just good if you catch that perch that's a little bit bigger and you can't swing it in. And you know, you can just net it and it's safe for the fish and obviously you, you don't lose it. Um, so again, if you, if you ride this independently, I would say get yourself a box. Um, it rains a lot. <laughs> and uh, obviously it keeps everything safe and, and segregated in, in a bag like this one. Um, so it's just easy to carry, you can store it in there and you know, pretty much just makes your life a lot easier. So as I've said, the rod, it's a little drop shot in rod, um, really light, uh, you know, really soft action, nice to, uh, nice to jig back, really simple, uh, 30 quid uh, with a little 1000 reel. Um, like I said before, go for a pound line. So, preferably uh, we want braid, but uh, we don't have braid. We've got um, a mono. Money. So, obviously, uh, looking at, at the bait that we're going to use, um, I'm going to try and take it to camera to, to show you how to hook it because it makes it a lot easier to see. Um, the way that I, that I hook it on. Now, I'm going to go for one which is almost like a little mini perch itself, sort of a striped one. And as you can see, the hook hooks there are tied on with a blood knot, and I can go into that a bit more detail. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll just change the camera, make sure I've got a good angle, and uh, we'll we'll show you how to tie that on. Right, so again, I'm going to zoom up the camera so to quickly uh, change out the battery on the last one. I'm going to do the was the the uh, the footage so again you can see the hook so the fish uh, you can get them in various different sizes as, as can your hooks and um, so you've got like a size 4 hook here and what you want to do just get this so then you can see it is where the fish's mouth is right there you want to put it straight through the center of that and try and keep it the hook as central and push on the fish rather than the hook just push on the fish Onto the onto onto the hook, as you can see, like there. So we're not. I'm not pulling the hook through straight away. It's I'm pushing the fish on as much as I can. And then when you get fish where you want to go, that's when you you break the hook through and the fish is on. And you want to uh, put it on a. Uh, so the hook's showing and it, it can grab straight onto the hook and we're away. So I'll just uh, zoom my camera back out and we'll uh, start having a few casts. I'm just going to try under the bridge against that fat. See that fish has taken it. As you can see, look perfectly. Looked it, took it straight in the mouth. There we go. 